Here, let us solve problems on parallelogram. Here the question goes like this. In parallelogram ABCD, prove that sum of any two consecutive angles is 180 degrees. So now, let us have a parallelogram drawn. Say for example, ABCD. Now you know that Parallelogram is a quadrilateral where the opposite pairs of sides are equal in length and they are not only equal in length but they are also parallel to each other. So now considering the side AD and BC, you know that AD is parallel to BC. So therefore what happens, AB and DC are the two transversals cutting the lines AD and BC. So now based on that, we have angle A plus angle B equal to 180 degree. Now why is that? Because sum of interior angles on the same side of the transversal is 180 degrees. So therefore angle A plus angle B equals 180 degrees or angle C plus angle D is also equal to 180 degrees. So by this we prove that the sum of any two consecutive angles in a parallelogram is 180 degrees. Let us quickly solve another problem. So in this problem the question goes like this. Now we have a parallelogram ABCD in which the angle D equals 115 degrees. Now we need to determine the measure of angle A and angle B. Now before we get into the problem let us draw the figure ABCD which is a parallelogram. So we have ABCD here. We know that AB is parallel to DC as well as AD is parallel to BC. So now angle D is given as 115 degrees. Now we just did a problem in which it says that the sum of two consecutive angles equals 180 degrees. So here the consecutive angles would be angle A plus angle D. Angle A plus angle D equals 180 degrees. Now angle A plus angle D we know it is 115 degrees equals 180 degrees and angle A equals 180 degrees minus 115 degrees. Angle A equals 65 degrees. Now at the same time, we also have angle A and angle B as consecutive angles. So we can also write angle A plus angle B equals 180 degrees. We know that angle A equals 65 degrees. So 65 degrees plus angle B equals 180 degrees. Angle B equals 180 degrees minus 65 degrees. Angle B equals 115 degrees. So hence, we found the measure of angle A and angle B in the given parallelogram ABCD. Let us try and solve another problem based on parallelogram. Alright, this sum goes like this. In the figure shown, ABCD is a parallelogram. Now we need to compute the values of X and Y. So now we know that according to the rules of or the properties of parallelogram we have AB is parallel to DC and transversal BD intersects them at B and D. So therefore we have angle ABD equals angle BDC and why is that? Why do you think angle ABD and angle BDC are equal? Because they are alternate angles. So angle ABD equals 12x and angle BDC equals 60 degrees and therefore we have x is equal to 60 by 12 which is 5. So we've computed the value of x to be 5. Now we need to compute the value of y. So now we also know that apart from AB being parallel to DC we also have AD parallel to BC. So we can write AD is parallel to BC and again the transversal BD intersects them. So we can say that angle DBC equals angle ADB. Angle DBC, so this one, angle DBC is equal to angle ADB. 
this one. So we have 7y equals 28 degrees and y equals 28 by 7. And so we've computed the value of y to be 4. And hence, the values of x and y are 5 and 4 respectively.